I may have got your fish here. You got <laughs> I just hit something big with this little piece of shrimp. Nothing's touched my life bait. It's good that we have shrimp because it's the bait that's working right now. Yeah. You gonna drop that mark? I don't know yet. It's oh. Oh. This might be a keeper. Yeah. Oh, it's a drope? Yeah, it's a drope. Be 16 or 15. Oh yeah. We'll I'll measure mark, that. Mark by one day, one. If you want it, you got it. We're going to see you right now. Got to be 16. He is definitely 16. He's actually 17 and a half. There you go. A little better than that, but yeah, over 16. That size. Good to eat. They usually don't have worms. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Yeah, you're right. Let's barbecue this on the grill. Puppy drum on the half shell. Well, there's one. All right, guys, so I was originally planning to do this at camp, but I don't know if you can hear it. Piddling down, just tipping down out there right now. So yeah, we're gonna do it on the Barbie, the Barbie, the grill. You know, I've been watching too many Australian things lately. Anyway, on the half shell. Half shell means you take the filet off, leave the scales on, and you're gonna put this on the grill, but only on the scales, the scales down on the grill. So we're gonna barbecue it with Bashan. And we're gonna use this too to season it. Just those two things for now. That has salt in it, by the way. That is the hot and spicy Bashan. That is a Japanese barbecue sauce. Never done this before. I've never cooked black drum on the half shell. I have redfish before. And I do know that if you do gas for goo, freshwater drum on the half shell, you're going to be sadly disappointed and it's going to feel like a horrible mistake is what I'm told. The skin of the Gasper Goo apparently makes it taste really fishy, really gamey, but not so much when you're, you do redfish on the half shell. So my big question was, is this going to be a disaster doing black drum on the half shell? So I got with earlier before shooting this video, I got with my friend Alex, who is a good cooking confidant we, we talk about stuff sometimes when we're like, what do you think about this? Because both of us like to cook with intuition. You know, we, we, we learn some stuff and then we apply it in different ways, mix and match, things like that. And he tells me, don't worry, it'll be fine. Will it? I mean, will it? Will it be fine? We're going to find out. It would be much better if it wasn't raining, but... It's okay. It is not late in the day. It is just after two. I'm going to go ahead and get this seasoned and marinated up. That's not all I'm going to put on there. I'm definitely going to be putting more barbecue sauce on there as I cook it, but just to marinate it for the moment. Get some of this on there. around me some of this means a lot that's not that much actually now I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of rub it in a little bit let's go ahead and add some more of this Bosch on 
I don't want to like go crazy with the Bosch on. I never do, even though I'm very tempted to. There we go. Bosch on is a good product, good barbecue sauce, but very expensive. It's outrageously expensive. So if you do buy it, you're going to learn quick that you don't want to overdo it. It is like nine to ten dollars a bottle down here, depending on where you get it. But it's worth it. It is totally worth it. We'll maybe put a little more of the seasoning mix here. And that's good. Oh man, I want to just taste that. Oh, that is good. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. <laughs> I don't know, I might try to start the coals going in the rain. I might just wait. Gonna give that a while. It is really close to five o'clock. Luckily the rain has finished for the afternoon so we can get this fish cooked and maybe do some night fishing, maybe not. This is the first time using this torch, it's really fun. It's not that big of a deal that I had to wait because it's pretty cool to leave that fish in there marinating for a while. We're gonna make some rice to go with this as well. Let's see, what else? Anything else? I don't know, maybe just that. Just take a little bit of this, not all of it. Chop it up a little fine. Then put it to the side for later. That is looking good. As you can see, I've already evenly spread them out. I have put the grill down. Now we're going to put the fish down real quick. I thought we weren't going to be able to do the audio out here because the neighbor is hanging out playing music. But he's not hanging out right now, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down because that is pretty hot. What we want to do is stop it by closing the baffles. Having everything almost closed is going to slow that fire down, make it very smoky so we can infuse the fish with the smoke. And we're gonna come back and check it in about five minutes. We're a little over <clears throat> the five minute mark. This is eight minutes. It's looking good. I think we need to go ahead and glaze it. it smells wonderful. <clears throat> we're just going to straight out of the bottle. Man, it does not, oh kind of hard to get it out of here right now I bet there's some dried up there we go fixed it drizzle some on and put some on that one and then take the <laughs> I was just on the wrong side there we go we'll come back in another five minutes or so a little over five more minutes what we're doing is with this fork checking if it's flaky it's looking that way we'll go ahead and take a little taste here oh that was good it can sit there for just a little more a little longer not much and here we go just got it off the grill gotta be careful when you're taking these off the grill because look at the bottom that's what happens to the the bottom where the scales are gets nice and toasty and will stick and as you can see the edges here is the skin that's kind of charred and this is perfect right here generally there's two ways to eat this like this with the fork or the other way take it off with the fork we're gonna just take this fork and gently get it out like that oh it landed upside down no worries we'll flip her as you can see perfect not burnt that's just the edge and we can get some of that crispy stuff right there in there for flavor we got a little bit left on the tail right here let's get the other one in there because we call them puppy drums because they're small this is actually a black drum if you're confused by the title puppy drum when these are big they're full of worms and the meat tends to be really tough oh that smells divine <laughs> whoa it's just hitting me right now it's pretty strong smell let's see if we get that strip right there nice 
this is gonna be good I've only had two pieces of toast and some Vienna sausage today <laughs> breakfast of champions let me tell you not my normal breakfast but yeah you're right a couple of finishing touches left here remember that put some of these chives on there add a little flavor and it just makes it prettier and then we're gonna do some soy sauce because it is a rice bowl time for the close-up yeah you're right <laughs> I'm ready to eat perfect perfect harmony here yeah the chives add that little bit of kick a little green in the bowl as well the rice if you're curious I'm using uh, well you saw it earlier it's a jasmine rice very aromatic very tasty oh yeah not dry either I always worry when I do the half shell that I'm gonna get preoccupied with something else and leave it sitting there too long and instead of fish it's like between beef jerky and leather not this time oh yeah <laughs> I could just sit here <laughs> let the camera go finish this bowl Oh, almost, almost want to do that. So hungry. Mm. But other things to do. Yeah, you're right. Hey guys, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see you next time.